All right, welcome to part three of how to install custom firmware on a PSP running version 3.90 using the Daytel Tool battery and Cat B50's uh, Magic Memory Stick uh, Maker, a little software package. Um, right now, I just inputted uh, my wireless uh, settings, and so supposedly we can update custom firmware using the network update on the menu, um, and hopefully it'll do that instead of downloading the uh, official, uh, official firmware. So here we go, we're gonna hit the network one, select my home connection. Just connecting the access point. All right, network update has found a later version. Download, insert memory stick, blah, blah, blah. All right, and it is downloading pretty quick. Download complete. The update is now on your memory stick. All right. Unpacking and uh, do you want to download it from the internet? I'll hit X for yes. Please wait. I'll select my home connection again. All right, and uh, it's downloading 24 megs, and uh, we'll let it do that. All right, here we are. It's 98, 99, 100%. Like returning to M33 updater. Verifying the 390.pbb. All right, okay, press X to start the update, R to exit. We want to update, so we're going to hit X. Starting the SCE updater. Wait. Uh, start. All right, I just gotta go through the normal stuff here, except. This update includes the following support for PlayStation Network titles has been expanded. Yeah, X for inner. All right, now it's going to install. And we'll let it do that. All right, update complete. X button to restart. Back to system settings, system information, and there it is, 390M33-2. Simple enough. And uh, there you have it, fully custom firmware where you can do well, whatever you want to do with it at this point. And that will conclude the tutorial of how to get custom firmware on a PSP running 3.90 already using the Daytel tool battery and the Cat B50 uh, installation program for the uh, Magic Memory Stick. I'd like to thank Cat B50 and uh, all the members and people over at PSPmod.com forums um, where I kind of learned how to do this. And this is a step by step guide of someone doing it for the first time based off the information on that site. Um, good luck.